St. Johnson had a great chance to take the lead in this game. Dave Mackay provided the ball into the box. Kenny Duca provided the knockdown, but somehow Murray Davidson couldn't provide the finish. A great run from Davidson, which deserved a much better attempt at goal. Next, the major talking point from this match, Dead Hearts winger Suso Santana spit at St. Johnson's Danny Granger. The St. Johnson fans certainly thought so. It was certainly a spit from the Spaniard in the general direction of Granger. But it wasn't noticed by the ref. When it all died down, St. Johnson took the lead. Dave Mackay again with the cross and Murray Davidson again with a header. This time a good one to put the Saints 1-0 up. Another good delivery from Mackay and a firm thumb of the head, this time perfectly placed. Into the second half and there wasn't just spitting in this game, there was diving too. The much maligned Christian Nade going down under challenge from Saints keeper Alan Main, who maintained his own innocence. Often criticised for a lack of movement, Nade showing too much movement here. Going down too easily, although Main didn't get the ball, referee Mike Tumulty provided Nade with a yellow card. Just over three minutes later, Hearts equalised. Josic and Calves with a bullet of a header into the Saints net to make it one off. Craig Thompson with the free kick, the header leaving Alan Main with no chance. Hearts took the lead in the 86th minute and it all began with an inspired run from left-back Lee Wallace, who nutmeg Jody Morris to get into the box. The shot from Arvidas Novakovic was well safe by Main, but the follow-up fell to David Abua, who slammed the ball home to send the Hearts fans into jubilation at the prospect of taking three points back to Edinburgh. Great work from Wallace and Ugandan international Abua in just the right place at the right time. But the joy for Hearts was short-lived. In the third minute of injury time, Martin Hardy's brilliant free kick earned St. Johnson a point as the game ended 2-all. Both teams still looking for that first SPL win of the season.